Doug. And I'm Kathy. This is Maggie May. Join us as we follow the moon. You know, every time we start one of these, we tell you this could be our favorite, but <laughs> this could be our favorite. We are at Lake Tawakani Thousand Trails in Lake Tawakani near Point, Texas. And this is probably one of the most beautiful peaceful, relaxing parks. I know we always say that, but it really is amazing. The amount of birds chirping in the morning waking you up, it has just been an absolute delight. Now I want to preface our tour of the park today with one thing, and that is the park covers a lot of acreage. So there's a lot of roads to be taken. We're going to take you completely around all of the loops but we are gonna speed it up a lot. The park strictly enforces 10 mile an hour speed limit on the main roads and back in the parks where we are in those loops, it's five mile an hour. So don't think we were flying through here. We are speeding this up for time's sake, uh, but we want you to get to see everything that there is to get to, get to see in this great park. So with that, enjoy. Thanks. <laughs> Now we're coming out on the main road here to start this up, but I'm doing this just to show you if you're going to find the park, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen at any Thousand Trails Park. And that is right where you turn, they've got these great big wonderful signs. You can't miss this park going down the road. It's a nice road driving down there too. Yeah, it is. and like Texas two-lane roads I think it's 65 mile an hour speed limit now this is a map of the park and like we said there's a lot of area to cover we're gonna start off going to the right and come all the way around the park you come back this road maybe a mile and it's kind of farmland Maggie got to see some moo cows out here <laughs> and you come down just about to the end of the road. There's the remu cows. And down here by the end of the road on the right hand side, you'll see the Thousand Trail sign. And you make a curve to the right and a curve to the left. And a curve to the right. And there's the guard shack. Now they have their setup for RVs to go in and wait on the right hand lane, which is great. Allows traffic full use of the road to keep coming in on the left. They do have ice available up there. We're gonna make the first right and we're gonna go completely around the park counterclockwise. Now this is one of the main roads, this main loop that goes around the grassy area on the inside of the park. This one is 10 mile an hour. All of the ones in the uh, areas where the RV spaces are, are five mile an hour. We're gonna take this first loop off and it is marked that it is not suggested for rigs over 35 foot. This area is a little bit tighter. It actually shows on the map as being 30 amp sites, water and electric only, but it appears that they have put in all new electrical service back there. There's all new power poles and they're marked 30 and 50 amp on every single one of them. But still no sewer. Correct, no sewer back here. And there aren't very many um, spots back here. No, there's uh, I think only a dozen spots. This is called Legacy Hall and it sets out right on a little point that sticks out in the middle of Lake Tawakani. It is currently closed so I don't have any pictures for you from inside but this is the land behind that 
and it is beautiful. There's a little pavilion back there right out on the water. There's a fishing dock and the, the grass is kept mowed so it's nice and clean. Now on the map this is section D and you're actually looking across a little uh, inlet of water over to section C. Always new friends to make. <clears throat> That's right. <laughs> Now before we go out of this section, we're going to take the loop to the right and this will take you past all of the camp spaces and I believe there are around a dozen campsites in this spot. The trees look a little thin but it is because they're just starting to bud. Yeah, it's, this is early April when we're visiting here. And we're gonna come back out of this section and come back over to the main road. And that sky is beautiful. Now up on this corner, if you see those yellow things sticking up there on the corner, those are horseshoe pits that are along that corner. The blue uh, dumpsters are scattered throughout the park. So no matter where you are, there's dumpsters close by. Yeah. Now this is section C. This section has quite a few uh, 50 amp full hookup. There are some 30 amp full hookup and some water electric sites, both in 30 and 50. The trees are, are really close together, but they've got them cleaned up so that you can get back, move, maneuver into them without too much trouble. Yeah, everything is trimmed back pretty nice. And all of these sites over here on the right back up to the water. In fact, if you look straight ahead, you'll see the lake out there. So all of these here on the right in section C and then going into section A are all backed up to the water. Now right here is where we go into section A and these go to 30 amp water and electric only. That's why you see that the population went down there. <laughs> but they're still beautiful sights. Yes, they are. And this time of the year, if we were only there for a few days, I would definitely consider one of those sites. I don't know any place in the park that I wouldn't consider. <laughs> now, here are the cabins. They have two rows of cabins back here. And if you look at the very last one there, it's a handicapped accessible. They have quite a few handicapped accessible RV sites as well as several cabins. I've never seen that before. That's really nice. Most of them are near the bathhouse. They're level sites. Um, most of their sites are level. I shouldn't mm -hmm. say it like that, but they're, they're very nice sites. Yeah, they're very roomy. Mm -hmm. And like a lot of Thousand Trails, they're in there angled, so they seem even roomier than, mm -hmm. than what they are. Now back here, this area is called the Lodge. The Lodge has a large parking area. Nice pool. Yeah, very, very nice. This whole area back here is, is really nice. This is their second community meeting area and the middle size of the three. There's the pool and right around the corner is the hot tub with the bathhouse right there. It also had outside showers if you want to uh, just wet down before you go in. 
there is billiards, there's uh, ping pong, there is a little basketball hoop shoot. There's quite a nice meeting room, all the chairs on wheels. That's got to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's this little den study area with the TV. And right around the corner from it is the little library. If you go out the back door, there's a deck that goes around the building and another real nice picnic area. There were people gathered there the first night we walked back there. At the end of the building is the laundry, and this is the only laundry facility in the park. Four washers, four dryers, everything was $1.50 uh, a wash or $1.50 a dry. Now we're heading over into the E section. And one thing I'll mention to you as we go in towards the E section, uh, there by the lodge, there is a walking trail. And that walking trail goes along the shore and it will come out over here in the E section and we'll show you where that is. But they do have walking trails uh, around the park Now the E section, again, there are a few 50 amp full hookups, but most of these are 30 amp full hookups in this section. Now down here at the end, you'll see a couple of people walking. They're actually going into the entrance to the walking trail. We'll come on around this loop and we get into the H section. Like I said, this park just keeps going and going. And the nice thing is no matter which area you are in, you have great views of the water. Yeah, there's water completely around the park. A couple places where the water comes in towards the mm -hmm. park. Now this is one of the bathhouses. And to give you an idea, they're a little bit older on the inside, but they are clean as can be. You can tell everything is very well taken care of, very well maintained. Now we're coming back up towards the front of the park here. And I'm going to pull into one of the spots over here on the left so that you can see the dump station. Uh, this to me is not the typical dump station that you find in most parks. actually right in here and I'm just going to angle around towards it. It forks off the main road, makes a big loop and that dump station is actually two lanes with dumps on both sides and center. So no matter what direction you're going, you're set. Now we've talked about the green space out in the middle. And as we come down here to the corner, I'm gonna stop here for just a second and pan across this green space. There is a baseball cage down at the end there. Uh, it's also set up for golfing. So if you wanna practice some shots, it's a great area to do it. It's huge. We'll make a right out of this loop and this will bring us back up by the guard gate. And we're gonna go over to the right, to the far side of the park, but on our way, 
Notice the propane. They do offer propane fills here at the park. Now this loop is really kind of interesting. It has only got, I believe, a little less than 40 RV sites on this whole side, but it has a lot of other things that bring people over to this side of the park. First off is their activity center. I've never seen a thousand trails with an activity center like this. You can see across the front, about two thirds of it is building and a third of it is just roof. We're gonna go inside the activity center here first. They've got a large community room. You can tell they've got a food service window there and all of their offices uh, for the park manager and everything are there. They post their activities and they also text alert you the activities when bingo's about to start and all that. Oh yeah. <laughs> But this is the part that's under roof. And there was cornhole set up there and everything. The playground is out behind. Uh, volleyball, basketball, and the coolest miniature yes. golf I have ever seen. Right behind that miniature golf is another pool. And it even has a second pool. I'm not sure if that was a kiddie pool or if it was a, a hot tub. You could walk down to the water behind there too. Yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful area. Now we're going to come back out onto the road there. And this next right turn that we make, the lot is listed uh, on their map as RV storage or boat storage. But you can also park your truck and boat trailer there because this is their marina. If you go straight ahead, there's two boat ramps down there. We're going to come over here and I'll give you a shot of the whole marina from this side. There's one just getting ready to come up there. And right there's where it goes out into the, the main part of the lake. Now we're going to go out of the marina and come down here to the end of the road and this is section I. This is the uh, last part of their campsites and like I said I think there's around 40 campsites down here at the end of it. Uh, like all the sections it has trash dumpster, it has a bathhouse and it also has uh, a handicapped accessible site right beside the bathhouse. This is just one small loop back here, but it is all right out on the water. Mm -hmm. Everywhere you go, it's just so peaceful. And the biggest noise came from the birds. Yeah. And every morning when we woke up, the birds, you could hear them just everywhere. Some of the biggest, fattest squirrels I think I've seen, <laughs> although we're used to Florida, they look pretty anemic down there. But uh, we saw bluebirds, blue jays, cardinals, robins everywhere. This again goes right around the corner here, out along the lake. So quite a few of these are also back up to the water. And for as much as it backed up to the water, our days have been in the middle 70s with a couple into the low 80s. It has not been buggy. Well, we have a nice breeze and I think that helps to keep it down. Yeah, and that, the water is moving. And the water the is moving, you're right. Yeah. We've seen people boating out there. I don't know if I'd want to swim. Yeah. It looks pretty murky. And I saw something big swimming in the water when I was down there today. Whew. Now, we're going back here on, on kind of high speed on the video, but this is just taking us back 
it'll take us back up by the propane by the guard shack and it's going to take us back over to our site and I've got some video here at the end to show you our site and uh, what kind of a typical site there looks like. Um, anything else special about the park that you want to point out, Kathy? It just all seems special to me. Lake Tawakany is a man-made lake. There is a Tawakany Dam and it was done to increase the amount of drinking water available for the Dallas Metroplex. Uh, so that's the primary purpose of the lake is to provide drinking water. There's no hydroelectric involved with it. Uh, and fishing and boating is just huge in that yes, area, everywhere yeah. you look. Uh, but I think that's one of the reasons that the, the lake is so calm and peaceful is it's just for enjoyment. Mm -hmm. Now, when we get up here to this next blue dumpster, we're going to make a right. And our rig is right there. And we had a beautiful sight. If you look down our curbside, You'll see our hookups and everything's right there together, water, sewer, and electric, where it's easy. This is our campsite, picnic table, fire ring, and man, what a beautiful view. We hope you're as blown away by this place as what we are. It is beautiful, peaceful, quiet, and we're here in uh, early April, so, it's not really their peak season, but we're having 70 and 80 degree days, uh, 50 degree nights. It just couldn't be a whole lot nicer. The spring is springing. Yes, yeah, the trees are just yeah. starting to green up right now. It, it was perfect time. Uh, if you are not a member of Thousand Trails and would like to get in on parks like this, be sure and get a hold of people we work exclusively with. Uh, Sharon and Warren Lewis. I'll put their information here on the screen. They will answer questions for you and help make recommendations for the best package to fit your needs. Not the most expensive package, but the best one to fit your needs. And uh, if you've enjoyed our video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. We certainly appreciate it. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do so and ring that notification bell so you'll know when all of our videos come out. And thank you for following us as we follow the moon. Thanks. Thanks for watching today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when new videos come out. Don't forget to follow us on social media too.